That, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox. And a fox is, almost, is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to. But the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling. You take him for a friend. What is good, YouTube family? It's your boy Rashad with the Black Anomaly Rising channel. So today, I'm going to talk about a topic that's a little more personal and direct to me as an individual, right? This topic's about essentially why I'm no longer a Democrat, why I'm not liberal, why I don't support the Democrat Party, like, whatsoever. That's mainly what it's about. It's not really about, like, how conservative I am or anything like that. It's specifically about me turning against the Democrat Party, okay? So there is a couple different reasons for it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to remember, like, everything in this video because I am just winging it here. But I can tell you one of the main reasons, and as I remember stuff and go along, maybe I'll add some stuff to it. But the main thing boils down to one word, COVID. When COVID hit, I really got to see what the Democrats were all about and how a lot of the principles that a lot of the politicians and a lot of the individuals voting for said politicians, the things that they said that they stood against, they actually stood for, such as uh, complete authoritarianism, uh, things like communism, like you know things that we all hear is like totally bad and totally not a good thing. <laughs> But then, depending on the circumstance, all of a sudden it's okay. So during this whole debacle, like you had things that started like the lockdowns and then, you know, it was boiled down to the states and whether the states were gonna stay open or, or be closed or whatever. And a lot of Republican led states decided to open back up. All the Democrats wanted to keep things shut down. So clearly no actual understanding of economics. It's like they thought the economy was like a light switch, like flick it on, flick it off. Flick it on, flick it off. You can sh shut it down and start it back up anytime and the big businesses make so much money, everything will be okay, right? Not really because obviously most people are uneducated by economics, but also it just shows and demonstrates a lot of people's naivety because obviously when anything shuts down, then you got all these jobs that are either on hold or just gone entirely. Uh, no merchandise sold. A bunch of companies, even very large companies take out loans and they still got to pay that. They can't just put the loans on hold. And as far as I know, there was really like no loans that were on hold during COVID, right? So they did give relief to businesses, but not all businesses qualify for it. One, and two, it wasn't enough. As you can see, a bunch of businesses closed. And then when they did the reopening, they kind of did the slow reopening uh, of, in a lot of places. So. It wasn't really fully reopened, so they couldn't make as much money as they needed to operate effectively. Like some of the company's margins are like razor thin, so you started seeing a lot of failures. And as you realize, okay, like Democrats obviously don't know what the hell they're doing in terms of economics, which is terrible. Even while you witnessed it happen, they still would not acknowledge that they were mishandling it. There was never an acknowledgement of we're doing something wrong. Maybe we need to adjust our approach. Never an acknowledgement. It was always like, we're trying to save lives, right? So it almost became like this medical tyranny. Like, well, we're trying to do the right thing. So that means we got to do all these wrong things. So I literally found a meme, right? This meme had a box with masks and the box was like, warning does not protect against a couple of different things, including COVID-19, right? So it's saying, like, yeah, it might provide you some level of detection, but don't rely on it for use protecting against a virus, okay? So this meme, I posted it. It was like immediately taken down. It's like on Facebook or something. It's immediately taken down and it said, masks have been proven to protect against COVID-19, something along those lines. And I was like, what the hell? It literally says it on a box. Like, it's a freaking box. <laughs> like, you're, you're taking down, like the people who made it don't think it works. You're just going to tell me that it does. And then it's when they started telling people to wrap their face up with, with cloth masks, essentially like anything, you know, they came up with the six feet rule, which CDC later admitted that they just made up, which of course I already knew that. Like Everybody should have known some of this stuff was just made up because <clears throat> you probably never heard it before. Like, why, why was it not made up? Of course they just made it up. They wanted to maintain situational control 
And then if you didn't do it, then they started basically trying to call you like a conservative or a Republican or something if you didn't want to do it. And I was like, wait a minute, how did identity politics get in this? I don't get it. Where did identity politics come in? Like, where? It's like it just came out of nowhere. They were like, well, maybe in order to get more people to do what we want them to do, we'll just call them a, a conservative, say that they're MAGA, right? Or say they're a Trump supporter. That'll get them to do what we want them to do. I even saw memes where they were like joking like that, like, well, I really don't want to wear the mask and get this vaccine, but I don't want people to call me a Trump supporter, so I just did it anyway. And it was like, everybody's like, hee hee ha ha, and it, it is like, that's not even funny. That's actually retarded. That sounds ridiculous. And I saw the way I already called it right way before the vaccine was released, which there's nothing wrong with vaccines. Like Trump kind of started his Operation Warp Speed and people were like, I don't know, tripping about this as if this is like a bad thing. Like, there's nothing wrong with vaccines, guys. Like, let's not be ridiculous. It's just that forcing people to get them is the problem. And this is another issue I started having with liberals and Democrats is when the vaccine was released, it started out as, yeah, everybody should get this because it would be great. And then it started being like, well, you know, maybe you can't do certain things if you don't have a vaccine, you know, including eventually work. So this, this was a critical point for me. Because I, I was working at a woke-ass company, okay? This company was woke as hell. They used to have, like, meetings. It was, like, weekly meetings. And the CEO used to say, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. He was basically straight-up dictator. And I was working remote. And even though we was remote, he still was trying to tell us what to do because it was the right thing to do. And I'm like, dude, like, you already know that this the issue done got political. Why are you getting involved? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I'm here to do my job, get paid for it. That's it. I ain't trying to hear nothing from you, okay? But this idiot kept going on, and anything that the CDC said, he would say. One week, CDC says mask. The next week, they say face shields, and then here comes the CEO of the company I work for talking about wearing face shields. Another time, they said something about two masks, and then this idiot starts talking about two masks. <clears throat> so at this point, I'm like, yo, like, what the hell? Like, you, you got here just straight shilling shilling for the Democrat party and for the, the these freaking authoritarian nutcases who we were talking about trust the science and we know that a lot of this wasn't even scientific. It was just, it just made up. It, it certainly wasn't factual stuff because they, they just kept flip-flop, poly wapping on everything and then they try to say that that's science. I'm like, it's not science to try to force people to do things based off knowledge that you don't yet have based off you just guessing. It's not science. That's stupid. Like, if you know that it's inconclusive, you haven't concluded anything for certain, then why are you trying to force everything? That doesn't make any damn sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this something that really pissed me off because eventually, like, when Joe Biden tried to, that whole OSHA stunt where he tried to get everybody to get vaccinated using OSHA, otherwise you couldn't continue working at the company you worked at. At that point, I knew I was done. Okay, that was it. I knew I was done for sure with the Democrats, because I'm like, okay, the things that y'all claim Trump was doing, being an authoritarian, threatening democracy, you know, just just basically just being an all-around just evil bad guy, like a, a liar and a crook and whatever, you know, racist, everything you want to call him. I was like, man, it just really seemed like it's, it's the opposite. It seemed like Democrats always had just some, some slimy, trick up their sleeves, always lying about stuff. If you actually would, would check and see based off certain things that they said, you would check on them, you find out that they would be lying about stuff all the time uh, and uh, putting on all these ridiculous shows. Like, uh, like when Donald Trump was impeached, I called that he wasn't going to be actually convicted of anything because they didn't really have any evidence of anything. We never seen or heard of any real evidence of anything. And sure enough, of course he didn't get uh, removed from office because I was like they're just gonna waste a bunch of money and a bunch of time just putting on this show and then they're gonna try to leverage the impeachment to like use that against him like oh he's been impeached twice like y'all ever seen people like on the view or politicians saying oh he's been impeached twice as if he was convicted or something I'm like just cause you bring charges that doesn't mean anything if anything that means the opposite it means that you're bringing frivolous charges that you can't even prove and you're losing who the hell brags about losing cases as if you did something by indicting somebody? That doesn't make any damn sense. 
You trying to say he's guilty and he like cheated his way out of it or something? Like, no, that doesn't make any sense either. Like, I'm not buying it. And I feel like these people was playing in my face, playing in the face of all us black folks, playing in the face of all the other liberals out there, whether it be white, black, Hispanic, Asian, whoever. Just they're playing in everybody's face. And when that mandate came, since I was working at this woke ass company, this company was Canadian based, by the way. So they should, shouldn't have really gave a damn what America was doing. But of course, they was all up in America's ass, was all up in America booty hole. So they were like, yeah, uh, go ahead and get your vaccine. Upload proof of it by this date. Otherwise, you can't work here. That's what they said. That's what they said. And I was like, I ain't upload nothing. Me being already playing chess in four dimensions, I'd already had another job lined up. I, it, I hadn't like even put in my notice yet, but I had the job, I had the offer, I'd accepted it. I was, I was already ready to go, okay? I'd already prepared because I saw the writing on the wall with this company. Like the CEO kept saying, wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask, uh, wear your face shield, because CDC started saying that. Wear two masks, because CDC started saying that. It, it didn't matter. Whatever they said, he would just be, be echoing it, like a little parrot. I'm like, damn, probably want a cracker, bitch? Like it was just ridiculous, and I was I was tired of that. I'm tired. Of, I was tired of like being forced. I'm like, okay, so now y'all literally threatening my life. Like, I worked really hard. I have a degree in business. I work in IT. I have well over a dozen certifications. I got so many certifications. I don't even know how many I got. I worked really hard to get a good job, be able to afford to just live a decent life. And because I didn't want to get vaccinated, the Democrats chose to try to put me, force my hand, be like, look, do what we say, or you out of a job, go homeless, go starve. Not to mention all the people who said, well, hey, if you don't get vaccinated, then you don't deserve medical treatment. You don't deserve your job. You don't deserve nothing. Basically, all this talk about saving lives, they didn't care about that. If you didn't do what they said, all of a sudden your life's not important anymore. Now we just care about the lives of the people who do did what we said, who did what they were supposed to do. Like they were they were good little doggies, good little black man. Like yes, yeah, good good little black man. You know, put your, whoa, whoa, put your chain back on, put it back on. Like oh no no no, don't don't take that off. Keep it on. Okay, we don't want you to run away to the Republicans. You might get hurt over there. Like that's basically what they act like. Like, we need to be some good little boys, us black men out here. Okay, so, yeah, good luck with that. So, that might still be working on some of the men who haven't come to their awakening period yet, but it's just not me, bro. I, once I saw all this stuff start happening, I realized that I needed to make sure I do more research on everything. I started researching everything. Like, anytime, anytime they say Republicans block bills, I would research it. Guess what I find out? No vote. They they never put it up for vote in Congress. How you go? How Republicans block something if you never put it up for a vote? Or they put something up and it would provide some amnesty for like illegal immigrants or something. It, it'd be a bill that's supposed to like provide COVID relief, but they threw in uh, something for illegal immigrant amnesty. Uh, they would throw in student loan forgiveness, like complete student loan forgiveness, like all of it. Like in COVID relief bills, that's supposed to be about whether or not they're supposed to like give money directly. It's not necessarily about student loan forgiveness, not necessarily about immigration, but they would just throw it into the bills. Or if they didn't put that in the bill, they wouldn't even bring it up for a vote. And then they'll be like, the Republicans blocked it, the Republicans, uh, Republicans, Republicans. Like it was just always being against the team. Like it was always capping for one team or the other. And I, I can't stand the the way it's, everything is identity positive. Everything is about whether or not somebody's black. It's not about what they actually think, like, up here or anything. It's like, hey, if you want to be on the Democrat Party side, you not only need to be some sort of minority, now you also need to think like us. So black man like me, who thinks differently, I'm not welcome over there because I don't think like, like them. But... Like, the other places will accept me, right? For, even if I don't, because I don't agree with everything Republicans do either. But Democrats, I'm not even welcome. You can't, you can't, like, go anywhere off. It's like, you got to be on the same exact wavelength these days. Otherwise, you ain't even welcome in a damn party. 
you can't dare vote differently. You can't you can't dare think differently. You can't challenge anything. Look, I, as soon as I started questioning the vaccine, as soon as I started questioning uh, like masks and stuff like that, guess what? Oh, you say sound like Donald Trump. You sound like a Republican. I got immediately labeled. Immediately labeled. I was like, y'all just handing me over to the other party. Acting like that. You know, it didn't matter who it was. You know, and not to mention the politicians, they're the ones who started that. Politicians started it, news media. So, of course, all the little sheep out there, they they, they fed right into it, of course. Uh, me, I just wasn't falling for it. So, it just wasn't working for me. And, I mean, there's all kinds of other stuff I can get into. I'll, I'll mention one last thing. There was a guy who, another black dude I used to work with, and me and him Facebook friends, and we used to argue about stuff all the time. And it was about Trump, because I didn't really care for Trump at the time. He did, <laughs> I guess. So he would tell me th different things like Trump that Trump had did, like lower taxes, which uh, they said that they the Democrats claimed he lowered it for uh, rich corporations, which is true. But they said that it was only it, which is false. He lowered it for everybody. Like, everybody got a tax break on the Trump. Uh, the First Step Act, which essentially was an act designed to basically help a lot of blacks and other minorities who had committed crimes, like, basically promote more so rehabilitation rather than excessive punishments and whatnot. Not to mention the economy and how the economy was going when I actually looked at, okay, how is my life going since Trump was president for many years well, okay how is my personal life going in terms of economically how is the economy doing you know how's it how's the stock market doing what's the price of uh, groceries how's the housing market looking you know all these things that impact everybody's actual day-to-day -day life you know people like families wives husbands sisters and brothers children all of this stuff how is all of that going? Like, people was not really struggling like that under Trump. It's just factually true. The uh, economy was good. Jobs were good. Like, low black unemployment. Black businesses were very successful. So, when people was talking about well, how bad he is for the country, and I'm like, okay, maybe you could argue for the psyche of certain people. Like, if it pissed people off a lot, or, I don't know, I guess depressed some people. I don't, I don't, not, I'm not exactly sure, because I'm not really impacted by that sort of stuff but maybe for other people it impacted them just so much that nothing else mattered like their actual state of their economic and financial state the socioeconomic climate for them didn't matter it just matter how they felt because trump said things that they, did, they didn't like in a way that he didn't like or something like stuff like that it didn't resonate with me the way my mind works it has to make logical sense if it's not logical in terms of like everything that's really truly impacted my life then it just it just doesn't do anything to move the needle either one way or the other like it has to be okay is are they making it where am i going to be free am i going to be able to 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 vote uh to pay my bills to uh continue to get newer and better jobs and have better opportunities if the answer is yes you're good in my book if that's not what it is then we got a problem really that simple i didn't have no issues under trump so when i started seeing all, all of this drama and how the democrats i started having a lot more issues financially once the democrats took over under joe biden and i knew it before i did not vote for joe biden and i, I, knew I voted for trump that time first time i voted for hillary like a dumbass because i didn't know how corrupt she was because i wasn't paying enough attention okay like if you haven't seen all the stuff hillary did please look it up Look up a video on YouTube. Maybe I'll make a video about it at some point, but please look this up, okay? So, anyway, y'all, look. I think that's about enough. This video is already getting a little bit too long, uh, but I could go on all freaking day about why I don't support the Democrats anymore. It's, and it's only gotten worse with all this immigration nonsense that's going on right now. It's getting freaking crazy, okay? But, y'all, look. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Hit the video like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm Rashad with Black and Emily Rising Channel. Appreciate you watching. I'm out. White liberals who have posed as our friends. White liberals who have been eager to point out what the white man in the South has been doing to us while they themselves here in the North are doing the same thing. They have been making a, a great fuss over the South, 
only to blind us to what is happening here in the North. And now that the eyes of America's 20 million blacks can easily see that this white fox here in the North is even more cruel and vicious than the white wolf in the South. The Southern wolves always let you know where you stand. But these northern foxes pose as white liberals. They pose as your friend, pose as your benefactor, pose as your employer. They pose as your landlord. They pose as the neighborhood merchant. They pose as your lawyer trying to help you. They infiltrate all your organizations. And in this manner, by joining you, they strangle your militant efforts toward freedom, toward justice, and toward equality.